so uh, I'm in the middle of my travel run, and uh, uh, this is uh, Shiroyama Park, I think, <laughs> where the former ancient Tok Tokushima castle site. And this is very close to the JR Tokushima station, so this is quite wonderful. You know, you have this pristine primordial forest on the mountains, and here yeah, you have the river. Again, I don't know the name of the river. I'm very bad at geography. So this wonderful environment is just a few minutes run away from the JR Tokushima station. So I should say that this is one of the really ideal running environments that you can get in Japan or indeed anywhere in the world. And look at these vegetable plants. I mean, these are marvelous. If I was uh, David Attenborough, I would be proclaiming marvelous. Uh, nobody's here, so I can take my face mask off. Look at these beautiful plants. And this very close to the JR uh, Tokuyama station. And this is Japan. Uh, nature at its best. And you can get this, you can get to see this uh, by running just a few minutes from the Jia uh, Tokushima station. Uh, it makes me so happy to encounter such a sight. Uh, yeah, I'm simulating David Attenborough. <laughs> Sorry, sir, Attenborough. I'm just a stupid Japanese guy. Uh, oh, look at this, these plants. Yeah, these plants, uh, mind you, uh, people might say that they can produce artificial life, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't think anybody in any laboratory can produce these wonderful creatures. Only the long history of evolution can uh, produce these marvelous uh, manifestations of life. So I have in Kenmogi simulating David Attenborough, with all due respect <laughs> from <laughs> Tokushima, old castle site. Just a few minutes run away from the JR Tokushima station. Uh, please come here if you are lucky. Uh, this is again uh, the great capital of dancing in Japan, or in the world. The our ordinary dancing, which would please Friedrich Nietzsche if he were alive today. So I'll stop this simulating of Sir David Attenborough and go about my business of running. So I have come to the old Hommar site, uh, the uh, where, place where the ancient, in ancient times the castle protecting the samurai warrior uh, was built. And there would have been the special place where the Lord, my Lord, what Joshua used to decide. And here are the tree blossoms. Maybe they are a little too early. Yeah, I am doing the simulation of David Attenborough, Sir David Attenborough. Okay, I'm sorry, Sir David Attenborough, but these are the wonderful Sakura tree blossoms that the Japanese really admire and love. And here's a really wonderful example of the meticulous care that Japanese people take care, take of these uh, tree blossoms. And here it is. Look at this supporting structure made of wood. Without this, this long uh, branch would have collapsed. But with this, this long branch can uh, flourish and give rise to this wonderful tree blossom. So these blooms are the fruit of long years of meticulous care and love by the Japanese people shown towards the cherry blossoms. And this is not only it. Here I run. Yes, I, so David Attenborough can run. Yeah, I can run. Yes. <laughs> Here, uh, uh, there's another tree of the beautiful cherry blossom. Uh, look at this. These are the supporting structures that the Japanese people, the craftsmen, 
are put on the tree trees in order to support them. So, so this is a labor of love in the true sense. And with this labor of love, these cherry blossoms can flourish. And so can these plants that grow on its brooks. So this small ecosystem from the reef to the moss to the uh, plants and onto the cherry blossoms, of course. These or oh, this microcosmos, if you like, can thrive because of the meticulous care of the Japanese people. And this is the reason for it. Well, not on, the only reason, but the very significant reason. This beautiful cherry blossom uh, from the old uh, Tokushima Castle site. Uh, this has been Ken Mogi simulating Sir David Attenborough with all due respect and uh, apologies. Uh, so here's another really wonderful example of Japanese people taking meticulous care of a uh, tree, ancient tree. Hi, I am David Attenborough again and uh, I don't sound like quite the real David Attenborough, but I am assimilated David Attenborough. Um, look at these structures. Aren't they wonderful? These are these structures. This bar emanating from the tree trunk could not have supported itself. And with this structure, look at how wonderfully the whole ecosystem has evolved on the single bar. It's astonishing, isn't it? So with human hand, the ecosystem can thrive. This actually is a small garden in itself, as Dan Pearson would have said. So this is quite marvelous. And this shows again the great care and love that Japanese people poured into such a huge tree. And mind you, in traditional Japanese, Shinto shrine, a uh, Shinto religion. Uh, Japanese people have regarded these ancient trees as manifestation of deity. Uh, Japanese people used to believe that they are distance two. That was a running application, unfortunately going off. But anyway, this is as harmonious as the relationship between humans and nature could be. Uh, it is here demonstrated in the wonderful uh, Tokushima uh, ancient castle site park. And so I'm very happy and filled with gratitude towards this great nature and the great feeling that it invokes in us and the great care that the Japanese people have shown to these magnificent creatures. Isn't this tree beautiful? And I do hope that this wonderful custom of supporting trees would thrive in this nation for many, 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 many years to come. I have been a, a bit, little bit strange, Sir David Attenborough, simulated by Ken Morgan. And I hope his uh, attempted reproduction of this great naturalist has been a tiny bit convincing for you. At least one million convincing as uh, this great tree.